All right, so a hammock setup isn't quite complete without a tarp. So today I'm gonna to review with you the War Bonnet Mountain Fly tarp. Let's check it out. Now this monster is 13 feet long. Whoa. And it provides a perfect kind of tarp for this uh, Ridge Runner hammock because the Ridge Runner, it has that spreader bar in there. And when you start to sway, you don't want it to be rubbing up against the tarp. So you need something a little bit more substantial for this kind of hammock. So we're gonna set it up, check it out. So it's wrapped up in this little coil thing here called, uh, we often call it a snake skin. It helps, uh, bunch it together, keep it together a little bit better. It makes it a little bit easier to deploy. Let's check it out. I have a link to the snake skin down below. Not too many people make a 13 foot snake skin. So I do the foot end first. You wrap it around the tree. I want to show you this because it'll be hard to, sh to see up there. You wrap around the tree. You make a little loop in here like this. So I have this little bowl in, wrap around the tree, and then stick this through here, little toggle, tighten her up. Holds it really nice. Just grab any old stick from the ground. And then on this other end, I have a trucker's hitch. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Now there's a few different ways to do this trucker's hitch. Here I have a, just a pressic loop tied to tied to the, my line. And then when you wrap this around the tree, this goes around the tree, comes back here, put it through this loop. And then to tighten it up, you just pull this. And when you get it tight enough, you just do a little Beckett hitch. So you flip it around, pull it back under, and that's it. Now there's other places online that do a lot better job of showing you what all these knots are. If you go to Knots of the Day YouTube channel, you see all kinds of really cool knots there that you can use anywhere. So that's the beauty of a snake skin. See how simple that was to deploy? Yeah. So I have my ridge line set up inside of my tarp so that the tarp lays over on top of it. So people have it over the, over the top of the tarp. I guess either way works, but I prefer this way. So with nylon tarps, they tend to stretch when they get wet or overnight. So I like to put this little parachute cord in here that's stretchy and tie it to a toggle. I also don't have any of my cordage hanging off my tarp when I pack it up. I put my cordage, my guy lines, on my stakes. I'll show you how it goes. Now the mutton fly can come with you don't have to order it like this, but I put it on there just in case one day I wanted to use it. But a center pole that goes right, it arches in the middle of the tarp, right through these, these center pole pieces. So, so let me show you.
And the last option I want to deploy here are these spreader bars. And you'll see what these are designed to do is give you more room inside the tarp. Watch this. Alright, so here's my whole tarp setup. You see, it's a bit of a monster. Now, the white splotches here that you see on here, that's just some talc powder that I put on after I did my uh, weatherproofing uh, seam sealing of the, of the stitching there, just so that it wouldn't stick. It'll wear off after the first couple rains. Let me show you how my toggles worked here. There's really no tying to do. What you do is you put the uh, put this loop around the toggle, and then down here at the stake, you just wrap it around, maybe twice, and you come back up, and you wrap it around the toggle, maybe twice if you want. So no knots, easy to undo later on. Let's go inside. All right, so here's inside. You see there's plenty of room. At the tail end down here. And I'll flip it around to the head end. And you can see lots of room. See, that's why I get the mountain fly for this bridge hammock. Because it gives you lots of space. And this little bar up here It'll help spread things out too. And when it, when, when it gets pretty windy, because this is so big, and if the wind is facing against the side of this, of this tarp, it's going to come down pretty far. So that's why this little bar up here, it's a pretty smart idea. Um, I've only tried it in the backyard. So maybe here in a couple weeks, I will take this out and bring it on the trail and we'll give it a little test run out there. All right. Now the manufacturer is going to advise against, against these spreader bars because it tends to rub up against this and possibly you wear a hole in it. So what I did is I took some of my tenacious tape and I just put it over where the spreader bar is, is, is going to go. You can see here, that's my hoping that it will not wear out this tarp, but that's all right. It looks like, though, I'm going to have to tighten these up a little bit because they don't bring them up quite as far as I'd like to. Well, if you didn't know, I'm David, and this is the Earth. I'm David on Earth. And if you like backpacking and hiking and gear reviews and all things about the outdoors, you come to the right place, so subscribe. And if you can, if you will, like this video, and how about put some comments about your tarp setup? There's lots we can learn from each other, and kind of that's what this is about. So, all right, I'll see you on the trail.